Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima High Speed. This fork mount clamp on roof bike rack has a part number of Y02115. Now the Yakima High Speed bike rack is going to be an excellent solution for the skewer style or pass through style bikes getting a fork mount that we can really get down the road looking good with. It's got a really nice appearance to it. The fit and finish is good. It also has a pretty streamlined nose to it here and everything's kind of streamlined so wind noise should be pretty reduced. Now this is really a very very versatile rack. Using the adapter we have here you can see we've got a standard 9 millimeter skewer bike in that's the 110. This is also going to work with our through axle design bikes. So the 12 millimeter and the 20 millimeter are going to work good. The 15 millimeter by 100, 110, 135, 142 and 150 work out really well. And this is also going to work with the new boost through axle design. Now once that's in place, we've got the torque right knob, which is going to give us the perfect tension on that so we don't have to worry about any damage. You see it's going to click at the appropriate position. We can loosen that up here. You see how those jaws are going to open. And then as we tighten down, we're going to close on it and really securely holds that bike in place for us. We do have several options as far as security. Here located in the back is going to be the tail whip cable lock. It's going to allow us to bring this up and around the frame of our bike, get that secured. However, the lock core is not going to be provided for this lock or any of the other ones on the rack for that matter. The cable is coated, so we're not going to have to worry about any rubbing of the frame or any frame damage there. Also, the rear strap that comes down and around is lockable. It has the, the capability of the SKS core. And here at the front, to disable our knob and prevent that from loosening, it'll accept an SKS core. Now, if you are using a 9mm skewer like what we've got here, they have a locking skewer, so you can secure that and then lock that up, so that couldn't be removed. That part number is Y02080. That would give us a lock skewer, locked knob, locked rear clamp, and also frame lock to our rack. Now the rack's held in spot using three stainless steel straps that are rubber coated, so we're not gonna have to worry about rusting and corrosion, and that rubber coating is also gonna protect our bars. Now, uses a nice system here on how it attaches. You can see this cover. We just slide that back. Once that's back, that allows us to tilt up on the lever. You see that cover slides right into there to hold it in the down position. At that point, we'll just remove the two round studs from the indents they fit in. And you'll see how that's gonna slide right down and through. So to secure it, we'll bring this up through, place those back in those detents, and then just cam that down and closed. Now this is gonna work out great for the arrow style bars that we've got here, but this is also gonna work for your round style bars, your square style bars, the elliptical bars, and even most factory roof rack systems. Bring that down, you see we've got a lot of room for adjustment, that's gonna give us a lot of different bars that it'll fit. Pull that down till it's cammed, and slide that forward, and that's it. Now the rear is gonna be the exact opposite of this. It's gonna be backwards, but it also has a locking core opening so we can get that rear clamp locked down. Now the rack's gonna offer a full steel base here. You can see the red portion here and then the black dual arms that run back. These are gonna have a chip resistant powder coat finish. And then to maintain those aerodynamics, you can see everything's been finished off with a nice cover here to help reduce any wind noise. Now this is gonna work out with bikes that have up to a 48 inch wheelbase, so even some of the biggest bikes out there, and bikes that weigh up to 40 pounds. That should cover a lot of them on the market. The rim width can be anywhere from the smallest road bike tires out there with the small strap, or if we go to the larger strap, this is gonna get us all the way up to five inch tires. Now the high speed will work in bars that have T-slots as well. Now to begin the installation, we'll want the straps down and out of the way. And we can bring the rack right up here to our roof line. Now as we place it on our crossbars, we want the rounded or semicircle pads here to be centered on our bars. Once we've got it centered up there in the front, we'll slide the rear clamp so it does the same to where it's centered on top there. Now we'll bring our strap around the underside of the crossbar, 
right up through the center opening and we'll latch that down. You see the little gray knob located inside allows us to adjust for tension of our strap. Now we want this to be secure, of course, but there's no need to over tighten it. Pull that down. Once that's secure, we just want to be sure we can push side to side on it with no movement. Then that cover is going to slide closed just like that. That prevents any opening of it when we have it in the closed position. And with the SKS lock, we we'll keep that from being unclamped. And we're going to follow that same process for the front. It's the exact same style of clamp and closure. However, these are going to go around the front side where they'll go up through and be connected in. Right. We just want to make sure that we can pull on it side to side and forward and back with no movement and we'll be ready to load up our bike. Now included with the rack is going to be the skewer adapter if you plan on using the nine millimeter type skewers here. And remember the part number we gave you earlier for the fat tire skewer if you've got the nine by 135. And we just place that in like you would your axle Tighten that down until this lever is secure. And you want it to be about as tight as what your front wheel would typically be on your bike as you're cruising down the road. Now we're ready to set our bike up on the rack. Now we're able to take our skewer adapter here or your through axle design bike. We're gonna drop it right in. We wanna push that forward. You'll see there's a nice pocket there that accepts it. Gives us a great spot for that to fit into. And now we'll turn the black knob, which is going to bring the rear portion of the clamp down and capture it. As we discussed, the knob is going to click when we have the proper tension, so we're not going to have to worry about this being too tight or too loose, possibly causing damage. Now we can bring that rear cradle forward. We want it be, to be positioned under our tire here, of course. It's a little tight with this crossbar the way it lined up, but in most cases you'll have a good open area to pull down on that. Got good tension there. And we'll just check our bike for side to side, front to back movement. We'll be ready to hit the road. Now let's take a look at that bike rack in action. You'll see as we go through the slalom, we're not going to have a lot of side to side movement with it. It stays pretty solid. Now we'll get into our solid speed bumps. It's going to be very similar to speed bumps in parking lots and also going in and out of your driveway. Once we get into the alternating speed bumps, this is gonna simulate more of the uneven road surfaces and even potholes. And that's gonna complete our look at the Yakima High Speed Roof Bike Rack, part number Y02115. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.